I'm Bill Flaherty. I am the uh, Director of Applications and Technology Development here at Alloy. So we are a five-year-old startup um, that has a novel method of manufacturing metal components that we primarily apply um, for thermal management devices because we can achieve some unique geometries and capabilities um, for thermal management that you can't get with uh, both traditional and other additive manufacturing technologies. We've got about uh, 30 engineers spread across the engineering organization, um, broken up into a couple of different groups. So we have our, our software team, uh, our process team, and our machines team. Uh, and they are primarily focused on uh, the internal processes and um, tools that we use to actually make parts. Uh, and then the applications team, which the applications team I think of as kind of the technical link between our customers and our process. And so uh, we're providing that kind of technical liaison between um, them and Alloy, ensuring that their parts are designed um, for our process, and then also bringing to bear uh, kind of our unique capabilities to design even higher performing parts than um, the customer might be uh, expecting to get. I think one of the more interesting markets that we're working in right now is, is data center cooling, right? So, um, both just the general internet cloud computing revolution combined with kind of this latest surge in, in AI has really pushed data centers to their limits in terms of what they can do with thermal management. And at Alloy, we're designing uh, unique devices to cool those high power chips, right? CPUs, GPUs, things like that. Um, and we have this uh, really cool, what we call micro capillary technology, which allows us to make these really tiny cooling channels um, that still have kind of three dimensionality to them. And so you can put all these different features into them that gives you really, really um, high performance uh, cooling uh, in a kind of single piece metal package that you really can't get other places. And so um, we've been doing a lot of work kind of developing products for that market. Um, some of the latest, you know, NVIDIA and AMD GPUs, as well as some of the CPUs that those companies put out. Um, and we've been really uh, successful in rapidly iterating there, right? Like one of the first products that we put out, um, we went from clean sheet to a delivered uh, product to a customer in about five weeks, which is a really exciting thing for, you know, a clean sheet design and um, showing incredibly uh, competitive, uh, you know, kind of industry leading performance on that device. For design uh, and CAD work, we use Onshape, which is a, uh, a browser-based CAD software. Um, a little bit non-traditional compared to um, what folks might be used to with like SolidWorks and Creo. Um, Onshape is actually owned by PTC now, so it is like a major tool uh, owned by a, a major CAD company, and it's really come a huge way in the last uh, five, 10 years to where it is an enterprise grade CAD tool now, um, but with some really unique features in that, you know, I can share CAD either with a customer or a coworker with just a single link, right? Which is a really awesome thing, especially when we have customers that are located across the entire world, right? And so that's a really powerful thing. So yeah, Onshape is our, our primary CAD tool. We have uh, simulation. We use another browser-based tool called SimScale, um, which allows us to do uh, cloud-based simulation uh, of, you know, computational fluid dynamics, uh, structural, things like that. Um, and then, uh, you know, other than that, the tools that we use are primarily built in house. Um, so as we take a, a solid model and turn it into a, a sliced file that we can put onto our machines, uh, that entire tech stack uh, was built here by our software team. And so um, both the applications engineers and the production engineers leverage that um, both to turn the parts into something we can manufacture and to run the machines themselves. So typically you start with a, a screening call with myself, right? And really um, the, the purpose of that call is just to kind of establish a relationship, get to know you and get an initial read on both um, capabilities and then also alignment to the role, right? Making sure that uh, the role is what the candidate expects and, and is aligned with their career interests and then ensuring that kind of their experience and their capabilities align with what we need for the role. And so that's kind of that initial screener. We typically do that um, via Zoom. Uh, it's like a half hour to an hour call depending on the role. Um, and then after that, we typically will bring people on site um, for about you know, a few hours. Um, and that on-site interview includes a kind of three different steps. The first is a site tour, 
right? So we kind of walk you through um, the, the facility here. We have our um, production facility is co-located with our engineers here in Burlington, Massachusetts. So we take you around the production floor, show you the process, show you some parts, let you ask questions about, you know, how the process works and, and kind of how that uh, intersects with the applications engineering team. After that, we do uh, a technical interview with the applications team, and that uh, is more focused on kind of the design, uh, design for manufacturing skills, right? Like, how do you go about taking a part and turning it into something that we can manufacture, uh, assessing things like maybe your, your knowledge of thermal, thermal, uh, uh, sorry, thermal management. That's what I was going for. Um, yeah, looking at your knowledge of, of thermal management, CAD design, all of that. Um, typically there's a small kind of design exercise that we bring as part of that as well um, to kind of give you an opportunity to demonstrate um, your, your CAD skills and your design skills. And then the final piece is a cross-functional interview. Typically that's somebody from the process team uh, and someone from the production team. And the idea there is you're gonna have to work closely with these people through your time at Alloy. And so just ensuring that um, you know they get a chance to weigh in uh, to evaluate your, your capability for kind of that cross-functional work. And then also giving you an opportunity to talk to them and understand a bit better how the applications team works with um, the process team, the production team to bring a part to life. I think Alloy has, uh, I'm going to give you two answers here. I think first off, our technology is is really exciting, right? Like we can just do things that nobody else can do. And I feel like every week we're learning new things that we can do with our technology. So the ceiling is incredibly high. I think the market that we've chosen in thermal management uh, is really ripe for the technology that we're bringing to it. Um, and that gives us a lot of market opportunity, a lot of chances to do new things, do cool things that we're going to see out in the wild and making a real impact across, you know, a variety of industries. So that's like, I think what gets me out of bed every morning is I love the technology. I love the challenges that we get to face. But I think maybe even more important than that is um, the kind of culture of collaboration that we have here at Alloy. It's one of my favorite things about working here is there's really, there's no closed doors. There's no artificial walls. Um, there's no silos that we build between teams. It is really incredibly collaborative. You know, I can look out the window of the room I'm in right now and see my applications team, and they can just stand up and talk over a half wall and be talking to a process engineer. And I see that happen 10 times a day, 20 times a day, right? And that kind of breaking down those walls between teams enables us to both work so much faster, but also to, um, to, uh, do better, right? To generate more interesting, more effective uh, parts and results because we have that kind of open communication, that ability to work together. And I think that just makes it a, a joy to come in here every day.